Um, so I gave this talk uh, earlier. And if you're at CPPCon, I think I gave a lightning talk uh, also with this moral. But now I've given an actual full talk already. And after the talk, uh, Marshall said to me, did you use my example? And I said, what example? Um, so this is going to be, whoop, step, there we go. This is an example of an allocator that is not a handle to a heap. Uh, and if you're uh, looking for things, uh, I made a wand box. Um, Non-handle, all right. Space work the first time. All right, so this is a stateful allocator. Uh, it looks very similar to polymorphic allocator, but I called it poly allocator because they didn't have, or polycator because they didn't have room on the slide. Um, and it's got all this usual stuff, annulus, it's got some state, but essentially its value is its state. This thing that I'm calling value here, memory resource star value const, uh, the standard calls resource. Uh, but essentially it's the value and the operator equal equal compares values. Again, little white lie there, it compares star value and the real thing. Um, so this is an example of an allocator that is a handle to a heap. It is a value type and its value is the address of a heap. Um, and Marshall, said, what about this case? Here we have an allocator that is a value type, uh, but its value is not a handle to a heap. Uh, it always uses the standard allocator new and delete. Um, its value is actually a character that it's going to fill the memory with before it hands it back to the user. It has perfectly value semantics for this. We can, the operator equal equal says, am I going to fill with the same value? Uh, and this is a perfectly standard conforming allocator. Um, and in the one box, uh, tinyurl.com slash nonhandle, you can see it working uh, with code something like this. This is the slide version of the code um, where I've got a struct T and I just go look at its padding and I assert that indeed, um, if, it is, if the vector that I'm looking into is using alloc three here with value three, uh, the padding comes out all threes and uh, with alloc four, um, it comes out uh, all fours. Um, and you notice also there, I'm not using a v2 dot in place back. I'm actually uh, moving v1's contents into v2. Um, and uh, that changes the padding bits um, because the guts don't get stolen. Um, so that was Marshall's example of an allocator as a value type, but not a uh, handle to a heap. How many more minutes do I have? Zero minutes? One minute? Oh, but I have. But I have bonus slides. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, uh, sticky allocators, which you might have noticed happening there if you were very uh, sharp-eyed, um, if you have two PMR allocators, which are uh, stateful, um, and you have, uh, let's say, a, what have I got here, a std PMR list uh, with one uh, heap and a PMR list with a different heap. Um, so here I have my two heaps, my red heap and my green heap, and I have a list associated with the red heap and a list associated with the green heap. Um, and I put some stuff in them, and then I call std swap, um, which of course calls uh, the list member function swap. Um, and what we would like to happen is that one, two in the red heap, three in the green heap, we want that to just swap the, uh, the sequence of the list. It makes perfect sense, right? Uh, what actually happens is, here we have the, uh, the list of one and two in the red heap and three in the green heap, and uh, every library will do this. What happens is undefined behavior. What's supposed to happen is undefined. What does happen is this. It's going to do this, and then you're going to go to deallocate, and it's going to blow up. So just, just be aware. That's all. <laughs>